today we have the absolutely gorgeous Hayley, much re requested, because they want you back. I know, you were quite popular yeah. last week. Really? So we, yeah. yeah. They love you. They love your laugh and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got Adam's lovely wife back. Um, I'm going to do some winter sweater cosy nails. They are super easy to do. I'm going to show you a few different ways. Stick with us, get cosy and warm with us right now. Right, so I'm going to use the Kirsty Meekin base coat. So I've, we filled these. Um, these are, you've probably seen this video. If you watch our channel a lot, then you would have seen the video of how we created these sort of icy colour nails. So this is like a good little demonstration of your client coming back in and saying, yeah, I'm bored of these nails now. Can we change them? I want some winter cosy sweater nails because some people think oh well you've got to kind of stick with what's already on the nails but no we don't need to we could do we could probably do some snowflakes things like that we could you know keep that color and that would be fine but we, we want to change things up a bit and that's why i love gel polish because we can change the design so easily because, you know, no one wants to wear the same knickers for a week, do they? <laughs> and I don't like wearing the same nails forever. And I'm no. sure you don't. <laughs> oh, God, no. Mm. I hope you change your knickers more than once a week. <laughs> 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 that's a, that's a yeah. good <laughs> Maybe that was the wrong way to get the point over. <laughs> yeah. I do I do worry about myself you sometimes. You can't put your nails back to front, can you? <laughs> <laughs> and inside out and then inside out. Yeah. So you get four wears out of every hey, pair. I tell you what, not bad. Four wears out of every pair. And they'll walk themselves <laughs> to the washer. <laughs> we are going to be using the colours, not every single colour from the winter collection, but I am going to use all these colours from the winter collection. They're like, oh my God. This is probably my favourite collection because it's so wearable. They're all colours that I would wear because and they match pretty much everything and they're so cuddly and cosy colours. There was a lot of people on the live said that that said they were the, that they definitely have their favourite collection so far. Yeah, I just love it. It's beautiful. They like quite vintage colours. I love them. So we're going to use this collection today to create your sweater nails. Love it. We will need a little bit of, where are we? A bit of clear acrylic powder. Just talk amongst yourselves while I. Low coat. Oh, there's a big pot there. Uh, we're gonna be using Kaylee, the color Kaylee. It is like this gorgeous lavender but like a muted lavender i absolutely love it and it's got great pigment it's got a nice thin viscosity and we're going to do two coats of this color and you can see straight away with one color oh, sorry one coat of color and um, we get quite a lot of pigment there and quite a lot of coverage. Now I know that there are a lot of gel polishes out there that maybe you would struggle to cover the colour that is underneath, but we're not going to have any trouble with this. So that's one coat. I'm going to use on the other nail. We're going to be using the colour Dawn. Dawn is like so chuffed to bits that she has a gel polish named after her. She's like, <laughs> she's like, do I get a commission? I'm like, no, you just get the glory. <laughs> she's like, that is fine. That is enough. 
Um, so we're going to use this one. This is a gorgeous, I want to say blue, but it's like, it's got blue, it's got grey, and it's got a little bit of lilac in it as well. It's a beautiful colour, again, very pigmented, so it's great for covering up your acrylic design work. And also good for um, painting designs as well because of its pigment. Love, 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 love. Right, and we're going to use no filter on this finger. So this colour is like... Oh, it's creamy, it's pale, it's like the palest nude that we do. It's a lovely canvas colour, I want to say. Like, no filter, it's like bare. And we're going to do two coats of that one as well. And then on the other... I'm a pinky and we'll also use this colour, we'll use Kaylee on the thumb but for the pinky we're going to use, we'll be using Dina on the pinky. Meridina. Meridina dot and Dina is a gorgeous colour, it's like a, I want to say dusky pink. So it's pale, it's lovely and thin. Did everybody see that dripping then and no mm -hmm. one told me? Well, I didn't know what he told me. I didn't see it. I did. I didn't know what to do. He just said drip, 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 drip. I literally caught it out the corner of my eye. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take Kaylee, a little bit of that, a little bit of Dawn. Just watch your right hand there when you put them in. Your left hand, sorry. Then no filter. Pop a little bit onto a palette of each colour, then we've got Dina. So that this, before you ask me, where's this from? This is, this was sent to me. Um, it actually it goes onto the top of a cup. <laughs> and it was sent to me by one of my students from, um, I think she's from Australia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. And, and I was like, we didn't really use it to put it on top of the cup, so I was like, I could use that as a little palette. Yeah. So like a crown palette. I thought that was quite cool. Right, so I'm going to use a Lily Liner brush. And we're going to top coat first of all, sorry. Just make sure you have your Lily Liner brush at the ready. We are going to top coat in... The glossy top coat, which is the Kirsty Making Shiny top coat. He 
it's important to have a seal on the nails before we go to the next step. So you could also you could mat you could mat top coat the nails if you wanted a full matte finish, but for the look today I want a contrast of shiny and matte, which is what I love. I just think it looks really nice. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do something that I've never done before. <clears throat> so I'm using the colour Dawn on the colour Kaylee. And we're going to do this, this all sweaty, this like swoosh. So when you do this, what this, I think this is probably one of the easiest ones to do. So we start without that little swooshy, but you need to have the other part of it here. So it's a continued design and then we're going to come here with a little swooshy drag through the product to make sure you've got like an even distribution of product because obviously when you first lay down you'll put the bulk of the product there see what I mean how it's thicker here but it's finer here so if you continue to pull through you're going to spread the gel polish around. And then I'm going to go in to Kaylee and I'm just going to feed a little bit of it into this by mixing it a little bit. Like that. And let it just kind of fade into each other. Move it around and then that'll just mix. Then we're going to go into just into Kaylee now. Another one here. Add a little bit more to this one. So you can see we've created like a bit of an ombre of colour. Yeah? So now I'm going to try and do the same, say try. I'll always say try. <laughs> Who knows? It might not even work. So we're going to do a line here with Dawn. And then I'm going to do the rest of the line in Kaylee. And hopefully. Create a bit of an ombre here.
So then we're going to do these little lines. And again, I'm just going to change colour now. So I'm going to go from Dawn to Kaylee. So we kind of do three of each. I do three of Dawn and then three of <coughs> Kaylee. So now we're going to take clear powder. So this is clear acrylic powder and we're going to sprinkle. And just bury your finger in clear powder. And what will happen is the wet gel polish will absorb the clear powder. Yeah, we're going to pop that into the lamp. So it's nice and snowy at the moment. Pop that into the lamp for me. So you can understand why you need to seal the nails first with a top coat before you do this step. So imagine if I didn't seal it with the top coat, yeah? And I did the design and then I sugared. Because the gel polish has a sticky layer, the powder would stick to that layer and would be a little bit of a mess. But if you want it all to be matte, you could do a matte top coat, then do your design, and then do the sprinkling of the acrylic powder. It's entirely up to you. There's a lot of ways we can do this. Lots of ways. Right, if you bring that out for me, we're going to just dust over this now. Oh! I love the ombre. Very cool. I like it. We've got a little ombre. That's a, and can you see why I like the the gloss in the background? I think mm -hmm. it just it kind of enhances the design a little bit. Right. So this one is a chrome from Sugar Paradise, which I think is an American brand. It's something that I've had for I've had it for donkeys. Yeah. Donkeys. Chrome donkeys powders. Years. Oh, why they say donkey's years? The donkey's years are longer than dog years and stuff, and our years and donkey's years. Maybe. Or donkey's ears. Or is it the Welsh? Because they say years instead of ears. That's it. Donkey's have got big ears. Must be a Welsh thing. Donkey's years. I don't know if this is true. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I'm just going to pick this up. And I might end up rubbing it in with my finger, to be honest. Oh no, is it going to work? I need a, I need a thing. I need some makeup stuff. I need a sponge. Right. Oh my God, this is not working at all. It does not want to work. It Maybe does it's not. Because it's donkey, donkey's years old. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Magic. Is it because you top coat? Well, you have to top coat and burn shit into the top coat, so. Mm. What I am going to do is slightly undercure the top coat. And I think that will work. So don't forget these nails have been in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out of that lamp. A lot. So we're going to put this in for 20 seconds. Yeah? Mm hmm. Twen 20. 20. 20 seconds. 20. Not 21. 20. 20 seconds. I can do this. <laughs> and we'll hope, let's hope it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll just do something else. We're going to try 15. Oh. Hey, now oh, we're cooking we on gas. Yes. <laughs> cooking on chrome. That's it, we're cooking on chrome. Chrome-tastic. So, because it's not completely fully cured, it's going to um, adhere to it really well. And then what we will do is we'll go back in the lamp 
and finish the curing process off. We would never want to just leave it like the, like it is. So I'm just burnishing this in. This is beautiful. Let's dust off the excess. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. That's lovely. So pop me that back in the lamp. Oh, it's a bit special, isn't it? Ah, it's a bit lovely. It's a bit beautiful. Right, so we're going to seal this in with the top coat now. I want you to do 15 seconds again. So how, what, like how old is chroma nails, like in nail tech years? Because it's quite a new thing really, isn't it? Like when nail techs first seen chrome, were they just like, oh, on nails? Um, I want to say it's probably five years old. It was 2016. That was when we... First I remember chromed. the first time we used it in, in this room. Yeah. That was the first time we used it. Because it is magical. It you remember? Was it? But it is Rude. magical, isn't it? The way it like just makes things shine. shine. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're super clean at the sides, so there's no like gel on the sides. So I'm going to use a metal file just to do that. And that's something you want to check, especially if you've got somebody that's got like quite a curved natural nail. Because you don't want to leave that sitting on the nail. Right, so now we've got this bit of chrome. I want to see the chrome popping through the sweater. Mm. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so... Gonna do little loops for this one. And join them up. So whatever colour gel polish you use to do your design and you use the clear powder over the top, you'll always see that colour. So if you used white powder, it would change the colour of your design. So whatever your design, whatever colour you want your design to be, make sure you use that colour in your gel polish. So now that's cured, we're going to dust. Oh, it looks nice with the chrome in the background as well. Oh. Ooh, oh, so fancy. 
That is nice. That is lovely. So I'm going to basically repeat what we've done on the thumb. Right, so what we're going to do now is, um, because you know how like we just change what we're doing every five seconds. Mm -hmm. You want confetti on, don't you? So yes. we're going to put confetti on, but because we've already chop coated these, we, I, I'm going to, I don't know why I say we all the time, I just, you know, the royal we. Um, I'm just going to buff over them because I don't want to put so much shiny on top of so much shiny without having a sticky layer. So all I need to do is just buff over using the 120 grit buffer. It's not going to take the colour off, it's just going to remove surface shine. So the gel polish colour will... That's the... That's the technical word. <laughs> yeah, and you know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> so I'm just going to wipe over with the um, cleanup solution. Obviously, just to clean that up and make sure there's no like bits of dust and things like that. Because if there's bits of dust, then you can get like little bits of pitting and, and imperfections. We don't want that. So we're going to use confetti, which is from the Winter Collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's called confetti because it's pretty much like confetti. It doesn't have to just be used in winter. It can be used all through the year. It's beautiful. It has eight different glitters all through it that, are, that range from holographic, iridescent, lilac, pink, and ivory. Oh, my God beautiful not just like one size they're all different sizes there are round glitters there are strands as well look at that and there's oh my god look at that little bit of orange it looks lovely over the top i'm just gonna move this glitter around where i want it we'll do two coats of that oh a bit a bit a bit a bit so it comes in a clear base, so you can layer it over other colours. Or you can wear it alone. But if you can layer it over different colours, then you kind of like got like a whole new gel polish, haven't you? If you can just layer things. I, I love that. Pop me over the lamp. Next coat. And then we actually did on the launch of these colours, I actually did a matte top coat over the top of one of them and it looked really nice. Mm -hmm. We should um, link, oh, link that, that video. It looked nice, yeah. Right, so we're going to top coat this, seal it in. They look, they're, they're very cosy nails, these are. Very cosy, snuggly, boggly colours and obviously design. The, the nails that you look at in bed and just dream away. Yeah. Have a cosy night's sleep. Help you sleep nails. Help you sleep nails. <laughs> I need them. I need them nails right now. Who needs that sleep app? <laughs> no one needs that calm app. No. Just need cosy nails. Cosy nails. Ah. Soothing. Oh, it's so cosy. <laughs> oh, it's so cosy. <laughs> Get these sweaty nails on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I'm so hot. It must be the sweater nails. I'm sorry. Oh, so hot in here. <laughs> And then you say, oh, yeah, your hand's cold. Oh, no, not at all. I've got my sweater nails on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can wear fingerless gloves and your fingers will still be warm because you've got sweater nails on. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Isn't it lovely, that? It's so lovely. Because it gives it quite a bit of depth, I think. I like it over Dina as well, over the colour Dina. Mm. That is nice. I, lo I love them all. We're going to put a bit of cuticle oil on now. Now, this is what you want to do. Watch when you're putting your cuticle oil on your client, um, on your sweater nails. I mean, it's not going to change the effect permanently. But if we wipe oil over the sugared effect, that sweater design, 
it'll absorb a little bit of the oil but it will just dry off and it will eventually go but I'm just saying if you like if you want to do photos and things like that just watch that bit yeah I like them snuggly boggly to feel warm and cozy feel all warm and ready for bed for bed yeah <laughs> yeah it's lovely the chrome underneath it's lovely isn't it ah? yeah and you know a lot of people put chrome on top of black as well so you get like the true colour of the chrome but it actually looks really nice over those muted colours mm -hmm. doesn't it yeah yeah it does <laughs> farty hands farty hands yeah <laughs> there we are guys I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget everything that's listed below will what what? <laughs> Just read the t-shirt. <laughs> like, comment, comment, subscribe, and all that shebang. <laughs> and everything I've used today will be listed below. Ta-da, duck! It's always do that though. Well. They go, they go, you know, pop it in the lamp, but they don't just put it in the lamp, do they? They go, they go. <laughs> Have a little look at them on the way down. Yeah, yeah, nice. Make sure nice. your hair doesn't touch them. Yeah. Nice. Too busy looking at them when they go in the lamp. Mess it all up. And then touch the top of the lamp. Yeah, in your lamp. <laughs>